What's up everyone? It's been a minute since my first vlog, but I'm gonna try to do my best to stay constantly uploading at least once or twice every week. And I got a bunch of parts that are coming in right now, so I have plenty of content that I can get for you guys. But right now, as you can see, I got brand new seats from Status and nice cherry red suede. Super excited about putting these in. But passenger side, I already mocked up and stuff. I already got the passenger seat already out of the car. I already took the seat belt off the passenger side because I'm keeping the stock seat belts. But I also have harnesses inside these boxes right here. And that's going to be for another video. And then also to mounting bracket for driver's side right there. So I'm going to do that side, take the seat out, film all that. Uh, I got a bunch of like harness bar, my down pipes. I got all this stuff over here, my manifold and stuff. I had all of it all on, took it all off because of smog. I didn't want to pay extra money to smog my car. So took it all off, but bought a bunch of new bolts from Downstar, all this stuff that I'm going to be doing and using and stuff like that. So I'm going to put all that stuff back on. I'll film it. I'm going to clean up the engine bay. I want to try to shave and paint and everything the bay, but we'll see what happens. But right now I'm going to finish up the passenger side and then I'm going to put the driver's side in and everything and take off the seatbelt and all that stuff. But right now, as you can see, I got the bracket on the passenger side. So I'm going to finish this one up. That I'm not going to put on yet because I'm probably going to end up buying some downstar like bolt and washer just to clean things up. These ones that I got on here are just leftover ones that I have because I have new ones coming for the engine bay. They're kind of pain in the butt to put on and stuff because of the way that it is on the back side. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to try to do my best to get these all on. The only thing I got to do now is pretty much just throw it in, bolt it down, and then I'm good. So one thing that I found that makes it easier if you throw the back piece in first, like head first, and then chuck it and turn it around, it makes it a little bit easier. But seats aren't the lightest, but a lot lighter than what the... OEM seats are which is like super nice and super cool But before I put this one in one thing that I did because you'll probably never get another chance to do this is I vacuumed the floor But right now I'm gonna put the bolts back in and these bolts right here are just 14 millimeter ones that come from the body There's only four of them, but once you disconnect those all you have to do is end up just Disconnecting the wiring harness from the seat and then you can transfer it over or you can just leave it off But I don't want the indicator for the seat belts popping up the airbags are probably gonna pop up, but it's whatever These I'm probably gonna end up buying downstar bolts for These are just 14 millimeters. So I'll probably just buy those with some nice beauty washers and stuff So they look a lot nicer. So then the engine bay and the interior and everything starts matching along and looks a lot nicer To the front, tighten down, slide the seat forward real fast, hop back in here. I got the seat in now, so here's the back. So the seat's in, pretty comfy, not too bad. It's got a stiff filling, but also still feels kind of like racy, but like OEM filling a little bit to it. Plus side to these seats is the fact that they recline. The carbon fiber backing that, which is really, really cool. So it goes with all other carbon fiber, like my hood, my trunk, ducktail, all that shit. Nice suede, nice comfy feel, not too overpowering take up a little less space than what the OEM seats as you can tell there's not much hand space or much room so if you drop something it's kind of a pain in the ass to get but you can see from this side now it's a lot easier and even on the driver's side if you see where the door jam is it's kind of a pain in the ass you definitely get a lot more space in these seats but yeah it's a nice addition to the inside so if you don't have seats I would definitely recommend getting seats
All right, I'm gonna put the driver's side in now, but first I gotta take it out. All right, so first thing that I'm gonna do is on the side of these seats, there's this little cover to undo for the seat belt. All right, well, that works. <laughs> I broke some clips on it, but it's whatever. I'm not too worried about it because I probably won't put the OEM seats back in. So once this little cover is off, all the bolts for it is all 14s pretty much. So there's not really anything else that you have to worry about. As long as you have a ratchet with the 14, then you're pretty solid. All right, so I got the bolts undone for the driver's side. So when you lift it up and you look underneath, there's this harness. This is the harness for the airbag and then the uh, seatbelt indicator and all that. Be careful so it doesn't get pulled too much but under here there's the three tabs for like the seat belt and then the airbags and stuff that are in the seat I'm just gonna disconnect these real fast all right there we go Friggin' exhausted, but move these tools out the way real fast. Shut down the seat. Whoops. Alright. Now that I got the seat out, boom. I'm gonna vacuum underneath because I got a bunch of junk and crumbs all over the place. Alright, so before I forget and get distracted, come over here, grab this on the side of the seat. I'm gonna take off the seat belt and the seat belt harness real fast. So the only one I'm gonna be taking out is the one that goes along with the seat belt. Boom, all the way here. So it's this blue one. Okay. So one thing that I don't like about the seats or about these brackets, I would say more than anything than the seats is these holes don't really line up the greatest. So I have to like off center them and it's kind of a bitch to try to get it on. Hardware is on, just gotta tighten it. The way I gotta tighten it is kinda ghetto. So I'm literally using a screwdriver to hold the nut on the back side, and then I'm using an Allen key. So, don't judge me, but that's all I got. Tighten them all up and then I'm all good and set to go. But they're most likely end up gonna come back out because when I put the harness bar in, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Cause I have to pull all this plastic off and up here to basically get to the little knob so I can mount. So the seats are finally fucking in. But you can see, boom. They're in for now, and they're in there, so, which is good. I'm happy that they're in finally, so then I gotta like, a guess or like, a look to see what they actually look like in the seat, or in the car. So that's it for this video. I'm going to try to do as best as possible to stay up on everything with all the installs and everything. As you can see, I have a crap ton of stuff laying around in my garage and I still have a lot more coming. But other than that, everything's in. Nothing's permanent yet, so a few other little things until I'm finished with everything. Tidying things up with bolts and things like that, locking things down, cutting plastic and fixing all that shit and installing everything. But I'll keep you guys up to date as best as possible. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.